Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Gabby. I'm a New York City based life and style content creator. I'm also a full-time PhD student. And today is, honestly, I'm very excited to film this video. It's gonna be a week in my life video. I haven't done one of these in a long time. There are a lot to film and even more to edit, but um, I think this week is gonna be a good week. So yeah, today is Monday and I went to the gym this morning after a Sunday where I was out drinking and having a good time is honestly I'm proud of myself like pat on the back everyone clap um really killed it really iconic but I got back showered did skincare did a little bit of makeup just eyebrows and lips honestly so we are headed out to lab today Mondays I treat mostly as like a if I don't go in on the weekends more like a catch-up this is what I was working on on Friday this is what I need to be doing today checking on my cells all that good stuff so that's kind of the vibe for today um, I also usually have my weekly meetings but I gave lab meeting like I did my presentation last week so I guess it's really just gonna be talking about what we discussed at lab meeting and like my current data and what I should be focusing on um, which I kind of like those meetings they're good to just kind of hone in on like the important parts of what was said so yeah if you're new here hello welcome be sure to hit that subscribe button i'm trying to post every week so you're gonna want to stay up to date on those new videos but yeah let's go ahead and get the week started we can do it we can really do it monday let's get it <laughs> also can we talk about these pants I'm renting them from Newly, and they're like very much like a stretchy band pant um, and they have like a wide leg at the bottom and they're so comfortable. Big fan. They're from Anthropology. But this is the final fit. Just went with the wide leg pant and a tank top. It's supposed to be like 90 degrees today, so I'm thinking very airy, very summery vibe. Cute. Hello, hello. It is now Monday evening and I am about to cook dinner. I bought salmon. Um, I bought salmon yesterday. It was actually on sale, which is nice. Um, but I'm going to have salmon, some broccoli, and some Brussels sprouts. So we're going to cook that up. Um, I'm grabbing drinks with Annie and her friend Maddie and yeah i think that's tonight's plans i realize i think i have plans every single night this week so it'll be chaotic around here but um i do want to just cook dinner and i'll probably have the leftovers for lunch tomorrow but let's get cooking i have about an hour i'm also going to try and run to the library to pick up some books that i requested it's finally open again i think the ac had broken so they closed for renovations so um they said it was open again so i'm gonna go and try and get my books um before i meet them for drinks but that is the vibe today we were productive i went over my notes from my lab meeting just to see like what were the common comments or threads that we had talked at length about my lab meetings lab meetings can be like over two hours so i'm really just like scribbling <laughs> notes um so i was just kind of like figuring out where everybody was at but yeah i did that had my meeting with my boss did some like maintenance like did some admin yeah it was a pretty chill day so yeah let's make some dinner Hello, good morning. It is Tuesday. I am up trying to figure out what I want for breakfast and I have no clue. I have no idea. Got my bonnet on. You know the vibe. It's like 6.30. So we are up and at it and moving. I try not to eat too, too early or else I get hungry again at like 11 a.m. And uh, 
kind of early for lunch. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not sure what I want. I could do yogurt, fruit, granola, a little bit of honey. But for some reason, that doesn't really sound appealing to me. And I think I just, I think I want eggs. I could do a breakfast burrito. That could be good. That could be good. Let's do that. Let's do that. My stomach was immediately like, yes, make yourself a breakfast burrito. So that's what we're gonna do. For that, I need tortillas or a tortilla burrito sized um, I'm gonna do salsa this is just the medium version from Whole Foods which I'll say is not medium at all <laughs> it's, it tastes like mild I would say um, we've got some Mexican style cheese I think Probably two eggs. That tends to be good enough. And then we're gonna quickly pop some bacon into the oven. Cook that up. And then we'll have ourselves a yummy little breakfast burrito. In some other world, I have jalapenos. But I don't have any right now, so we're just gonna do that. But it should be tasty. Cool, let's do it. <laughs> I'm now dressed and ready to head out, but I realized that I never showed you what books I got from the library yesterday. So let's do a speed round situation. First book I got was Love on the Brain. This is by Allie Hazelwood. I read Love Hypothesis. Um, I think this was her second book and I think she has another one that's out, um, but I got this to read. Um, I liked her first book. It was a little triggering because it's quite literally like my day-to-day -day life. I mean, like the setting is obviously um it happened one summer i feel like this is just a very popular like romance book talk book and i kind of just want to know what all the fuss is about so it happened one summer tessa bailey yeah <laughs> and then this book i actually got like requested but it actually is also um the book club book for the month um and this is honey and spice by bolu babalola i think um i may have butchered that pronunciation very sorry um but i've heard mixed reviews of this book and i'm excited to give it a read and see what i think but it's also a hardback so okay library okay i don't love carrying around hardbacks for my commute but this is the book club book so i might as well and then i also got part of your world this is by abby jimenez and i've heard really good things about this book as well so yeah usually i don't get four books from the library at one time because i don't read that fast but um two of the books got delayed because the library was closed for a week for renovations or something it was like not expected um so those were still at the library and i couldn't get them um and then i had two more come so we've got four books to dig into and read i'm excited and i'm trying a new lip color today so i'm very usually not super adventurous with my lips um i usually just do like a gloss situation or like maybe you know maybe a gloss with color and even that, even that's pushing it but we have a little combo going on i've been trying the like brown glossy lip situation but the part of this i'm struggling with is actually finding a liner that's dark enough to where it's like a couple shades darker than like my lip to really give that pronounced lip feel to it i feel like this one actually is doing a pretty good job i actually really like the way it looks but this is the color downtown beauty from nyx it's also really confusing because like sometimes the colors on the back of this do not match at all what come like what is in the like pencil so it's be careful with that um and then i so i line my lips with that 
and then I use ColourPop's Ganache Queen, which is like this like kind of reddish brown lipstick. It's very pretty. Do that all over my lips, and then I go over it with the NYX Butter Gloss. This is in the shade Butterscotch. Um, so again, it's just like a nice. This one's just like a. It's like a. I don't even want to say like a pale brown. But it's like a pale brown, I guess. And then I go over it with my clear Ame Cole lip oil, which I like, and it gives it a nice sheen. So that is the lip situation. We'll see how long it lasts. I'm gonna carry the butter gloss and the lip oil in my bag um, for touch ups, but yeah, cute. Let's go. <laughs> Hello, I'm on my way to an event. It was raining, it's been off and on raining, but I'm on the Upper East Side and I'm almost there, so I'm gonna get my nails done. Should be good. I'm early. The event doesn't start till 4, it's 3.49, so yeah, let's do it. I just finished that paint box. I'm waiting for my Uber to come and get me, but I got the wave pattern, so that was good. But yeah, let's see where the oops is. Okay, he's coming. Um, but yeah, now we are headed back to my apartment. I'm gonna get ready for the next event. I usually don't do like two events in the same day because it's quite chaotic and I don't have the bandwidth for that, but we made an exception, so we're gonna go get that done. But yeah, very cute. I feel like it's a vibe. Very summery and fun. friends it's now Wednesday morning and I am hanging out in my living room on my couch I feel like I just need a minute to decompress catch up um, yesterday was such a busy day today I'm probably gonna start running a Western there's a pro there's some proteins I need to look at in my cell lines so we're gonna do that but yesterday um like i showed you i got my nails done and i'm not a big nail art person in general so i was like can we do the design on one finger and use it as like an accent nail and i actually really like the way that that looks and they did a really good job it was that paint box it was with the brand tropical moscato wines yesterday was a big like alcohol heavy day which was interesting yeah and then i went to an event it's national prosecco week i guess um and i think there's like a like a trade event like people who actually work in wines um are in the city and so they were having like a party and they invited me to come and take a cocktail making class yeah now it's wednesday new day we're vibing i made breakfast i've been on like a scrambled egg toast fruit vibe recently so i made some of that got some plums i've got another event tonight so i'm gonna come back change get ready for that fen's coming with me and then tomorrow fen and i are gonna see barbie which I'm upset because I kind of wanted to make like some fun content. I feel like with the writer strike and now the actor strike, like, I don't know, like we shouldn't be making content about movies, right? They also can't attend premieres or promote their work, which is so 
sad. It's so sad. Like, it's just like, oh, the whole thing is just frustrating. And the studios need to pull it together expeditiously and pay these people a livable wage because there's just no excuses. Damn. Okay. I'll see you in a bit. Oh, also Love Island. UK. Crazy. Crazy. If you're not watching it, you gotta get on it. You got this season. This season might actually be worth it. It might actually be golden because, oh man. Wow. They're moving mad. The producers. I don't even think the contestants are really doing all that much, but the, the, the producers are like, we're gonna, we're gonna get y'all. We're gonna get y'all good. Um, Whitney's my favorite. She's so real. She's so me. She's so me. Hello party people, what is up? Today is Friday. I haven't talked to you in a while because it's been quite chaotic um, around here and that's okay. We are back, we are vlogging. This is, I think, uh, ooh, excuse me. This is the first day of the week that I haven't had evening plans, so I'm relishing it. I'm enjoying it, I'm having a great time. I'm about to cook. So I'm making pizza. I'm probably gonna cut this in half um, and use it as four crusts instead of two because I think it's just a little bit big for one person. Um, so I'm gonna cut this in half and then I decided to go with a margarita situation. So I got some of Raoul's pizza sauce. Um, I've never had this before so we're gonna test and see if this is any good. Um, yeah and i think it's like already seasoned as well so it's got like oregano garlic salt um and then like some veggies basil the whole thing i'll probably add some more just so we're well seasoned but um and then i'm doing margarita so um if you don't know margarita has basil as well so i'm gonna put some of that on there and then of course mozzarella i opted to go for the ball mozzarella from whole foods um because i was feeling like i wanted something fresh we can chat about the barbie movie but um yeah i saw that yesterday um the tldr version of of my review is that it is great it is exactly what i wanted the movie to be it gave exactly what i thought it was gonna give especially it's just it's for the girls it's for the girls and i love that for us i love that for us 100 percent um, but I'm gonna make my pizza because I'm a little bit hungry. I'm gonna turn my AC on because I'm gonna turn my oven on and it's just hot in here. You know what I mean? I'm also super talkative because I feel like I haven't really talked to anyone today. So yeah, hello, happy Friday, cool.
Hello friends, it's now a little bit later. I've been watching Sweet Magnolias, the new season just dropped, and it's objectively not a good show, but I can't look away. I can't look away, it's so good, it's one of my faves. But I just finished dry brushing. Um, this is one I got from a fur event. It says take care on it, it's cute. We're having a little self-care moment. I'm about to hop into the shower. Um, and oh i guess i can show you what products i've been using give me one second okay cool so i feel like i usually cover skincare and not really body care and it's because in general like my skincare switches up not that much but at least it switches up i'm using the same like body care for like a long time um but at the moment I actually I guess I can get opinions on this so I've been using the way body wash body cleanser um, and I have it in the scent Melrose place and it's pretty much all gone um, it's a great scent for summer but because it's almost all gone and I'm gonna be repurchasing I'm gonna be purchasing something to replace this if you have any thoughts on good body cleansers let me know I like this one I feel like it's pricey though so if there's something that is just as good, if not better, I vibe with that. Um, on days that I exfoliate, I have been using either, um, if I want something a little bit more intense of an exfoliation, I use the Matching Way um, Scalp and Body Scrub in the scent Melrose Place as well. And this one, again, the scent smells so good. It's like perfect for summer as well. I feel like it's a very like summery scent. And then when I'm not using that one, I use this one from Dove. This is the um, exfoliating body polish and I have it in the Crush Macadamia and Rice Milk scent. I was influenced by Any. If you follow um, Any Given Sunday on like Instagram or TikTok, she swears by this and I think it's also really good for something that's a little bit more gentle. I feel like you could use this every day i don't um because i don't exfoliate every day but you could use this i choose this one after i shave um but then i use this one if i haven't shaved my legs and i just want something that's a little bit more intense other than that i have like i use just dove bar soap which i don't think i need to show you it's quite literally just the you know the dove bar soap if i'm shaving i use the flamingo foaming shave gel i love this stuff i also use the um accompanying razors i also have the razor refills so i use these together it's nice easy you know <laughs> so i like to spritz this after i get out of the shower just to get a nice Scent. I don't know. I like to smell good when you get out of the shower, you know, I want to smell I wanna smell fresh and good and I feel like this is really nice. I am oh, stuck in 2010 apparently because I got these a while ago. Like I, I got one of these at an event, um, a Victoria's Secret event. I think one was in our like gift bag and I don't know. It's just a guilty pleasure I feel like at this point but that's pretty much my body care um, and then obviously I have lotion in my bedroom I use mostly yeah I only use Jergens at this point <laughs> cool so I'm gonna hop in the shower I'm also going to do a actual like face face mask I'm gonna use the I know I think in this vlog I use the eye gels but I'm gonna do the full face mask because I'm feeling feeling a little bit of self-care you know so we're gonna do this chill probably watch a little bit more of sweet magnolias I really should have had like a margarita to pour it out with them um that'll only make sense if you watch the show but basically they have it's like three friends they are the sweet magnolias and they have like a margarita night every week where they just kind of dish about what's going on in their lives and they pour it out um to their like friendship and life in general so i should have poured it out with them but i didn't um it's okay my pizza though i'm a chef yes chef me when you see me it was super easy definitely gonna be a new meal i add 
on busy days of the week because it's just super easy to slap some olive oil sauce cheese and basil on there and make a margarita pizza it's just it's easy i'm gonna shower listen to some tunes and vibe out a little bit let's do it Hello friends, it is now Saturday morning. I wanted to quickly um, outro this video. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and be sure you're subscribed if you're not already. I mean, if you made it this far, let's be real, we're friends, we vibe. That's cool. I'm about to go shoot this look with Fenya. It's very bright and fun. Got some pink eyeshadow. It's giving very Barbie. And I made a green smoothie, of course. So lots of pink and green action happening. But yeah, I'll see you in next week's video. Have a great week. Peace out. See you later.